What's up guys, today we're going to talk about how to resolve merge conflicts in Git. So if you're working in a team and you are contributing code, you are definitely going to face merge conflicts. And in that case, you will have to resolve those merge conflicts. So let's see how merge conflicts happen and then we will talk about how to resolve those merge conflicts. So here I have a repository called Sunny Use of Timeline and I have made latest commit about an hour ago. You can see here. So if I do, and I have the latest code on my local system. So if I do a git status here, it says nothing to commit and my working directory is clean. Just to make sure we have the latest code, let's do a git pull. So git pull origin master. And it says uh, we are already up to date. Now suppose there is another developer who is contributing the code to the same repository. So I have cloned the same code in a different repository to show how two developers can code and how it will uh, turn into a merge conflict. So suppose uh, another developer is working and currently if we do a good status, uh, its directory is clean and uh, there is nothing to commit. So suppose now this developer makes a change here and before making change, let's do a git pull so that this developer also have the latest changes from the GitHub. So git pull origin master. So we are already up to date here in this uh, repository also for other developer. Now see, uh, suppose this developer makes some changes in the readme file. So suppose he changes some line here in the readme. So this application is a timeline of famous singer Sami Yusuf, uh, which is created using react.js and ES6. And let's make one more change and let's go to the index.html file here. And suppose this developer makes another change here and he adds a new keyword here, Sami Yusuf, uh, and he says Sami Yusuf timeline. So if you do a git status now, There will be changes in these two files. So let's add these files. So if we do a git status now, they both are ready for commit. So let's commit these files. Uh, edited readme and index.html. Now let's push these changes to the remote GitHub repository. So let's do a git push git push origin master okay I'm gonna use Sniger second username Sniger so we have successfully pushed these changes to the remote github repository so if you see those changes will be reflected here so we have edited readme and index.html file so these files have been committed latest commit so now this other developer makes some other changes in this uh, same file at the same line so this other developer let's say we write something else here mm. this application uses This application uses react.js and ES6 and webpack. So let's change this file react.js, ES6, and webpack. And now this developer commits code. So we have just modified readme file. So let's add it to the staging area and commit this file. Updated readme file. Now, if we try to push now these changes to the remote, 
it's going to fail because we don't have the latest changes that other developer had made. So git push origin master. So you can see it fails. So it says updates were rejected because the remote contains work that you do not have locally. So it's suggesting us to do a git pull here before pushing. So we should do a git pull and then we should try to push again. So let's do a git pull here. And git pull is a combination of two commands actually git fetch and git merge. So it fetches the latest changes from the remote repositories and tries to merge that those latest changes into our local code. So it says there was a merge conflict, auto merging, and there was a conflict in the readme file. So let's see what was the conflict. So here is how merge conflicts happen. So on that other developer had changed the code in the readme, if you remember, uh, he had wrote this line which is created using react.js and es6 and we wrote something else we wrote this thing this application uses react6 es react.js es6 and webpack so this is how merge conflicts happen when you change the same line of code in same file so when uh, multiple developers change the same line of code uh, in same file then it results in merge conflicts so these are called merge markers now it's our duty to uh, remove those uh, merge conflicts. So uh, now we um, now we have to remove those merge conflicts. So there are three cases now. Uh, what we can do here is we can accept uh, the changes from the other developer by keeping this line, or we can keep our changes by deleting this uh, line below, and we can just keep this line. Or in some cases, we may have to do uh, like we can keep some changes from the uh, this developer and some changes from the other developer. So in this case, I'm gonna use uh, the changes that were made by the other developer, and I'm gonna remove all of this. So let's remove our changes. This head means what is our change. So let's remove our changes and we're gonna accept changes that were made by other developer so I'm gonna just remove this thing so now if we do a git status so let's do a git status now so it says uh, index.html which was uh, auto uh, like uh, which was merged automatically so there was no conflict in that case so here we got that change the latest uh, uh, changes that were made by this developer in this index.html file we got that but there was a conflict when trying to merge in the readme file because the same both developers have changed the same code in same file uh, on the same line so now we have removed that conflict and now we're gonna add both these files so let's uh, add uh, all these files because we have remo uh, removed that uh, conflict from that readme file and now let's commit this file so we can say uh, resolve merge conflicts and now uh, this developer can uh, push its his changes to the remote repository so git push origin master and now in this case this should work So we have pushed our changes and resolved the merge conflict. So if you see the readme file now, it have that change that this developer made, which is created using React.js and ES6, which was the change made by this developer. So this is how we can uh, uh, resolve merge conflicts. So all you have to do is you have to pull the changes and in that case it may result, uh, result into merge conflict and then you have to look for those markers and uh, either you have to select your uh, changes uh, which were pointed by head or you can keep the changes that were made by other developer or in some cases you may have to 
keep some changes from one developer and other changes by made by other developer so you may have to do uh, keep uh, the code from both the developers uh, so in that case you will keep some lines from your code and keep some lines from the code that was pushed by other developer and then you have to remove those markers and then you just commit uh, and then you can push again so this is how you can re uh, resolve the merge conflicts and this is very common situation when you are uh, working in a team and you will definitely face these merge conflicts and uh, in first case it uh, looks quite scary those merge conflicts and you don't know how to resolve those merge conflicts but it's quite easy just go into all the files uh, in our case it was just one readme file but in many cases it can be a lot of files and then you have to go to each file and resolve uh, remove those markers and just commit again and then you can push to the remote repository so hope you find it helpful